Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's, I'm going to move away from here. It's absolutely lovely to see you all this morning. Um, and I thought what I will do is just say a few words of welcome and thank you. Um, I want to especially start off by thanking Scandit, who are our drink sponsors last night, because it was fantastic uh, to see at the end of what was a, a long and full day of content to see so much networking and friendships going on, both in the room outside and elsewhere. Uh, I also want to, and importantly, say as we enter our second day of this conference, thank you again to all our supporters and to our partners and exhibitors, and especially our platinum uh, sponsor, Ingenica, and also to our, our, our non-commercial sponsors as well. I also, um, at this stage, have, uh, would also like to thank um, our friends from the AV company, Quadrant. It is fabulous. We work with them for four or five conferences now. And whatever else is going on, whatever panic's going on about COVID tests and people not coming, you can rely entirely on the fact that the uh, video is going to work, the graphics are work, and the microphones I just have to do that. I have to do that. I'm sorry. And I know I do it every year, but I have to do it. Uh, so thank you. I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes um, telling you about what's going to happen today. And the first of which is that uh, I'm going to introduce our chair for the day in a few minutes. And that's Professor Sir Terence Stevenson, who's chair of the Health Research Authority. And he's going to navigate our way through uh, this morning's session. And that mor this morning's session starts as strong as yesterday. Uh, where we have um, Richard Murray, the chief exec of the King's Fund, to take us in our helicopter up to 60,000 feet. Um, Keith Conradi saying, helicopters won't go to 60,000 feet, they'll crash down, but he'll probably tell me that later. Uh, and then we're delighted to have Professor Andrew Goddard Bodd to come and give his view of the front line um, about the NHS. And then finally, uh, Keith Conradi in possibly one of his last public appearances as Chief Investigating Officer of the Healthcare Safety Investigation Branch, or HSIB, as it's known. And maybe he may tell us why it's HSIB and not HSIB, but who knows. Then we change tack ever so slightly, because yesterday on this stage was very England focus. But as Anne said when she welcomed us yesterday, one of the things that GS1 UK has done over the last two or three years is actually have a focus on the UK bit. And there are delightfully um, national programmes now in Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland, and we're delighted to have um, colleagues from Scotland and Wales to join us today and talk through that. We have Steve, uh, Steve Bush on stage later to talk about, he's uh, Medical Director of Operations at Leeds, and as you know, Leeds was one of the four, forefront and has been at the forefront of the Scan for Safety programme. And he's going to talk a little bit about how Leeds are moving on from that and what else they're up to. Um, then we're going to have our break. And then we'd come, come back and talk about uh, data and one, this whole thing about if you're, if you're scanning things, scanning is good. But if you get data, all you're getting is one scan is one beep. Millions of scans gives you insight, and how we're able to use that insight, building on some of the some of the sort of conversations we had yesterday, and then finally on this stage for the morning before lunch, uh, our chief exec and Godfrey will come and give a summary of what has happened over the first day and a half. We're then going to make the breakout stages. There was such huge content yesterday on the breakout stages. So here you hear the big picture, and then we go into detail and implementation and process on those stages. And where we have this afternoon after an early lunch, we have on the DHL stage, the Scan for Safety and the Future, the National Scan for Safety program, so more detail and more data from Wales and Scotland. Sustainability on HCSA. The NHS talks about sustainability, net zero, 2040 or 2050. Um, and we've got some really interesting um, presentations on that stage, uh, led by uh, David Lawson, who is from Guys and Tommies. And 
One of the things that we've seen most over the last probably 18 months at GS1 UK is the move to using GS1 standards in a very strong way for asset management. And that's absolutely been something that's a COVID, a COVID thing. So we've got a, on the, on the Scandit stage, we're going to talk about that. So um, last thing from me before Terence steps up is to remind you of our, of our charity, to remind you that we will be sending out feedback forms for you to fill in. And for each feedback form we receive, um, as I've mentioned yesterday, uh, GS1 UK will donate five pounds uh, to the DEC for supporting humanitarian relief in L Ukraine. And we have that lovely QR code that you can just snap and make a direct donation to. So that's it from me. Um, enjoy, ask questions. Let's you know, have that um, real interactive, participative event that we had yesterday again. And without further ado, I'd like to invite Professor Sir Terence Stevenson to come and chair this morning's session. Terence, thank you.